Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and today we have a brand new announcement from ASUS to cover because the company has just announced its brand new x870 motherboards over in Gamescom in Germany. So we're going to be taking a look at some of the motherboards very very quickly as well as some of their new features. So let's get right to it. So we have five new ROG boards to look at first, uh, covering both the Strix and the Crosshair range. We'll start with the Crosshair, the ROG Crosshair X870E Hero. So this one is the flagship and it's going to obviously be packing a, a big punch when it comes to features and accessories and, and a price as well probably. Some very, very large heat sinks on this board and uh, generally, generally regarded as probably the best or one of the best AMD motherboards out there for AMD Ryzen 7000 and more recently Ryzen 9000 series CPUs. We've also got a ROG Strix X870F and X870EE Wi-Fi gaming boards. So um, not that many differences between uh, those two boards, but usually the X870F having a few more features and slightly more lavish heat sinks and that kind of stuff. We also have a ROG Strix X870-E um, A gaming Wi-Fi, and uh, that's going to be available in white as we can see here so very very popular um, if you want a white motherboard I've seen plenty of those around on the internet recently and uh, finally for the Strix range which is going to be my favorite of course which is the ROG Strix X870i gaming Wi-Fi so all of these motherboard, motherboards sporting uh, some new features this time around and um, I'm going to be paying particular attention to the ROG Strix X870i gaming and Wi-Fi here on the channel very very soon hopefully um, the samples will be arriving at some point and I can take a look. So uh, I was a huge fan of the uh, X870 version of the Mini RTX board from ASUS and uh, pretty much the flagship uh, Mini ITX board for Ryzen, 9, uh, Ryzen 7000. There weren't really any others that kind of pitched that high. Most of them just catered for the lower end um, the B850, uh, sorry, B650 chipset. So the X8, uh, the X670 chipset was what we uh, what we were talking about with the previous Mini ITX boards. So very exciting to see uh, the range of ROG motherboards. So we've got three other motherboards to look at here as well as a new cooler and we've got the ProArt XX70E Creator Wi-Fi. I know that the ProArt motherboards were very very popular last time around um, with uh, various platforms for ASUS and I kind of like the fact that it's doing more of a, uh, a content creator focused and just a kind of a smart snazzy looking motherboard rather than gaming focused with loads of RGB lighting and all that kind of stuff. So I'm um, really glad the ProArt range is returning with XX70. We've also got the Tough Gaming XX70 Plus Wi-Fi. So the Tough series used to be well at well down at the value uh, end of the ASUS range, but that's kind of now the prime boards. Uh, Tough Gaming is usually kind of a mid-range price, um, but still this one here looks really, really good. Some large heat sinks there, lots of new features. And then of course, yeah, we've got the prime XX70P Wi-Fi on the end, which is probably one of the cheaper ways of getting onto the XX70 chipset. So we've also got um, the cooler down at the bottom as well. We've got the ROG Ryujin um, 3, 360 ARGB Extreme. So uh, if you're into your AIOs, then that one's definitely worth looking out for as well. But we're just uh, checking out the motherboards and the new features today. So moving on to the features with the new boards now then, and uh, we've got some features that we've seen before such as Core Flex and Dynamic OC Switcher. So Core Flex allows the end user to uh, pick between temperature, current and voltage when tweaking their CPU. And uh, also Dynamic OC Switcher, so this uh, dynamically engages AMD Precision Boost Overdrive and that kind of thing. But we have seen both of these features before. I remember a couple of years ago we were looking at Core Flex, so nothing strictly new here, but there may be new implementations of it in uh, some tweaks to the BIOS, for example. So a new feature that we're seeing this time is a Nitro Path DRAM technology with ASUS board. So we've got a uh, much higher slot retention force on the memory modules. And we've also got gold finger pins, which are 39% shorter than they were before. So uh, what that does is reduce, uh, it reduces the noise that's introduced into the memory signal. So that means that they can reach up to 400 megatransfers a second or in old speak megahertz, for those of you that haven't made that switch yet. Um, so they can just reach higher speeds potentially impacting memory compatibility as well but that's a lot to do with the the BIOS and refining that and hopefully reducing those memory training times because they're fairly significant at the moment with Ryzen 9000 as a lot of reviewer reviewers out there will agree with me uh, so hopefully both of these things contributing to a bit of a smoother experience with uh, Ryzen. 
Now, ASUS has been at the forefront of a lot of developments around the M.2 SSD form factor and uh, slots and heat sinks and all that kind of stuff. So we've got three new features on its motherboards. So uh, we've got M.2Q release, which allows you to just simply remove the heatsink with a latch. We've also got a push latch for your actual SSD. So there's just a single pullout latch uh, that releases it. And then we also have a different mechanism called M.2Q slide, which will uh, just simply allow you to slide a, a little slider latch outwards, releasing your SSD. So it looks like things are about to get a lot easier when it comes to installing M.2 SSDs. Now, the ASUS BIOS is already a pretty good place to be, and uh, it has introduced a new feature to make things a little more streamlined called BIOS Q Dashboard. Now, this basically revolves around uh, starting Q Dashboard, and you will be presented with what is basically a map of your motherboard, and all the little green lights basically represent components that are connected to your motherboard. And if you actually select one and press enter, you can actually be taken through to that section of your motherboard. So if you click on the fan header, um, or CPU fan or a system fan header or something like that, it will actually take you directly through to the fan control suite. So that's a, uh, a pretty neat new feature coming to ASUS motherboards. So that's it from the ASUS event today. Just a very quick stop by and looking at some of the new motherboards and new features that we've got to look forward to from the ASUS range of motherboards coming very, very soon. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel so you can see all the motherboards as they're launched very, very soon. So don't forget to comment and like below. Always love hearing your thoughts and let me know what you think about the new ASUS motherboard range. And I'll be back very, very soon. See ya.